What is up, guys? We back with another one, man. And today we got the K669C. Now, this is going to be a XLR microphone by Five Fine Man. So, shouts out to them for sending this over. I really do appreciate it. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Five Fine, but back in the day, they sent us the K669B, which was a USB microphone. So, I make sure I put that video up here and put a link in the description so you guys can go back and familiarize yourself with Five Fine. But today, we're going to be looking at the K669C. And just to go ahead and give you guys a spoiler alert, we also got the K669D, so make sure you stay tuned for that video as well. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where you can pick this up from. We'll go through every single thing that comes inside of this box, and then we'll do a little bit of an audio test and all of that good stuff. And by the end of this video, I'll give you guys my final thoughts on this XLR microphone. Let's get to it. All right, guys, so if you're looking for this, you can find it right here on Amazon, man. I'll make sure I throw a link in the description, but the price is going to run you $36.99, and they do have a 5% off coupon. And again, this is the Five Fine XLR microphone K669C, all right? So scrolling through right here, it just says that uh, this microphone delivers responsive, accurate, detailed audio. Um, right here is a cardio pickup pattern, wide range, produces transparent, authentic voice, isolates background uh, noise as well. I'm just going pretty quick because I want to get to this microphone. So it says uh, smooth, livelier performance, and it gives you a little picture of how to use the microphone correctly. All right. So if you're talking down in the mic like this, that's incorrect. You want to be talking face on with the microphone. All right. Kind of like how she's doing it right here in this uh, picture here. Right here it says it has a balanced XLR connection and it grows alongside your recording setup. So basically, as long as you got uh, XLR like a, 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 a interface that you know you can use XLR with, every time you move to something you know bigger and better, you can always use this microphone as long as it has an XLR connection. All right? It says turn on the 48 volt phantom power before you use it. Um, I'm glad they put that there because a lot of people do ask that question about do you about needing to use that 48 volt uh, phantom power. So if you got something like uh, the Mayono caster or the Scarlet, you can utilize that 48 volts. All right, so I think that's a, a good look as well. And then right here it says, uh, this, well, the screw size here, so you can kind of know what you're getting yourself into three eighths or five eighths. So you should be good to go. It should connect to any one of your, you know, standard boom arms, um, in general. All right, and then right here it's just a cool little, uh, basically a, a list of all or at least some of their microphones from the six K669C, uh, the 9D, the AM8, and so forth and so on. All right, so let's get into the box. All right, so taking a look at the box, man, Five Fine always has some pretty good presentation, man, and I always love that they, you know, have that red and black type of theme, man. That's that's really cool. I still have every single one of my Five Fine boxes, so, you know, again, man, their presentation is on point all right but you know taking a look around the box it just has a lot of information man uh, a little bit of information about the company uh nice little picture and so forth and so on all right um once you open it up though you're gonna have a user manual uh, and this user manual is very thin uh but at the same time this is just a simple xlr microphone uh just one cable and you should be good to go so you know you really don't even need to use the manual in general all right um, next, you're going to have a stand. Now, this is one of those smaller, you know, kind of short stands uh, that doesn't take up a lot of space on your desk, uh, but it is made of metal. It has rubber little feet on the bottom, um, and it's just very, you know, well put together. Uh, some pretty good build quality, to be honest with you. Um, but if you into using stands, I like boom arms, but if you're into using stands, man, then this will uh, be a good stand for you. Uh, next, you're going to have the microphone itself, but then on the bottom of the box, I wanted you guys to, to pay attention to that, is that you don't have an XLR cable. So if you do buy this microphone, just know that you're going to have to provide or buy your own XLR cable. So it doesn't come with one. All right. Looking at the mic, build quality is on point. It is a fingerprint magnet, as you can see, has some five fine branding on it. Uh, got your screw hole on the bottom in case you want to mount it to the extra stand or a boom arm. And like I said, one XLR cable. Uh, and all you do is unscrew that little screw. And that's how you can kind of adjust, you know, uh, how the mic sits on the boom arm or on this or on the stand. It is made of metal uh, and the build quality on it is on point. And just in case you want to unscrew the bottom and take it off, you can. So I'm just kind of making sure I show you guys that you can unscrew that. All right. Um, but again, the mic is nice. It is a fingerprint magnet, as you can see. Uh, I think that's probably the only, you know, real downside cosmetically um, about some of their microphones is that it's fingerprint magnets based off of that material that they're using. But um, other than that, man, it looks really, really nice. And uh, it's very simple uh, and easy to put the stand on. All you do is just screw it in just like this. And as you can see, uh, the footprint with the actual stand 
Um, and when you stand it up on your desk, it's a very small footprint. So, you know, if you if you're just going to rock it on your desk, just know that it's not going to take up a whole lot of space. So you'll be still good to go. But yeah, this is what it looks like with the stand. Um, nice, Mike. I love the way it looks, man. And this is every single thing that comes inside of the box. All right, so this is the audio test portion of the video, guys. Uh, and number one, I just want to let you guys know that I do have a little bit of music playing in the background. It's upstairs, but it is kind of faint in the house. But I just did that on purpose uh, just so you guys can see what that sounds like in the background. Even That's even if you can hear it, all right? So number one, let's go ahead and talk about some of the things I like about the microphone. Uh, I like the design. I like the build quality, and I like the audio quality. I also like the fact that uh, there's no latency. So as I'm speaking in the microphone, I hear it straight on in my headphones with no latency. I'm talking zero latency. Um, another thing too that I like is the small footprint uh, when you use it with this little stand on the desk, the small footprint. Um, so if you're somebody that want to save space on your desk, you can't lose with this. Now, I already talked about I already talked about the build quality. You can hear the audio as we're going right now. I love that. Uh, I love the design of it um, and just how sleek it is. Um, microphone is to me, it's on point. All right. Now, a couple things I don't like about it is that it doesn't have a mute button, it doesn't have a volume knob, and it doesn't have a headphone jack all right, to monitor the audio. Now, all of that stuff can be taken care of in your actual audio interface. All right, So depending on what audio interface that you're running, you should be able to mute your microphone, monitor the audio like I'm doing right now through my audio interface, turn the volume up and down and all that stuff. So if you have a good audio interface, then those things I just mentioned don't matter. But if you don't and you're just running this thing, I don't even know what you would be running it through without like, monitor i don't know but if you're running it through something that you don't have any extra little buttons then that could probably be a problem for you all right so the only things i don't like is that it doesn't have a mute button no volume knob on the mic and no monitoring of the actual audio straight out of the microphone other than that everything else is immaculate you can hear it you can hear the audio quality it sounds crispy it sounds clear there's no latency right on point all right so we're gonna do a couple of uh quick plosives and then i got to give you guys one issue that i noticed with this microphone that's not even really with the microphone but it's with another device all right so hold on let's do some plosives real fast so peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers a peck of pickled peppers peter piper picked if peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers how many pickled peppers peter piper picked all right so i'm probably about 10 to 11 inches away from the microphone i've been trying to sit that far away uh this whole time so i'm gonna move in close and let you guys see what that sounds like so now I'm kind of like right up on the microphone. Um, and as you can hear, it, the plosives do get a little bit more pronounced uh, when you move in close. But as I slide back, as you can see, the plosives don't, you know, they're not as pronounced, you know, saying once you come back a little bit. All right. So, you know, it is what it is. But that's just what that sounds like. You will get a little bit of uh, like desk noise. So like if you moving around on your desk, you can hear that. Like if I'm type tapping on the desk or something like that, you will hear that. So if you're moving around a lot and picking things up, you know, you can't hear that stuff in the background. So. Just keep that in mind. Now, audio quality on this thing sounds great. I was listening to it and talking through the microphone uh, with these headphones on for a good minute before I started this portion of the video. And to be honest with you, it sounds amazing. I'm actually overly impressed by how small this microphone is and what it sounds like in my ears. I'm just, I'm, I'm overly impressed. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but I'm like really, I'm really like amped up and I'm, and I'm shocked by how small this thing looks and it's and it sounds like this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm totally blown away now. I got to give you guys one problem that I noticed or that I found out while using this. So I'm running my Focusrite Scarlet Solo. And some of you know that I had put the Scarlet Solo on the shelf. And I started running this as my audio interface. All right. The uh, Mayono Caster E2. So I plugged in this microphone to the Mayono Caster E2. Turned on the 48 volts. And this board makes this mic sound very, very muddy it sounds very muddy dirty it just doesn't sound that great um even when you adjust the knobs and all that stuff man it just does not sound good so i got very very frustrated because i really wanted to continue to use this board if if i'm going to use this microphone i would prefer to use this board because i can control things but my old trusty focus right scarlet solo the uh, audio interface that will never ever ever let you down i pulled it off the shelf and when I turned this microphone on with the 48 uh, volt phantom power on this right here, I was so blown away. It's like a night and day difference using the Scarlet Solo with this microphone versus using the Mayono Caster with this microphone. Night and day. I'm talking 100% quality with the Scarlet and I'm talking like 50% quality with the uh, Mayono Caster E2. So if you have a Mayono Caster E2, um, don't run this microphone with it. 
get you another interface. This microphone is not going to sound great with that. I promise you. But this is straight on face value. Focus right. Scarlet solo. You will not lose. So those are my thoughts on the microphone. Um, do I recommend it? Yes. Uh, does it sound good? Crispy and clear? Yes. Um, do I have a few things that I don't like about it? Yes. Uh, no headphone jack. You know, no my uh, no mute button. Uh, no volume up and down knob and all that stuff. Uh, but those are there are workarounds for that. Um, but again, I do recommend it. It sounds great. You guys can hear it. There's nothing going on with the audio. I'm not doing anything in post and all that stuff like I always say. But this is what you can expect out of the K669C. Now, hopefully this video has been helpful to you in some way. And if you did find it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your man, Jay, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.